for all the new stuff. Click on this bell icon and make sure you never miss a video from Scoop Hoop. When Indians think of freedom fighters, a few popular faces dominate the national imagination. However, India's freedom now in its 71st year was only possible through the sacrifices made by thousands of citizens who stood up and fought. But should they too be labelled freedom fighters? That's where the Swatantrata Sainik Samman Yojana, an initiative which acknowledges soldiers' achievements, comes in. It has laid down a set criterion for who can be identified as a freedom fighter. To be deemed a freedom fighter, a person should have been in jail or remained underground for at least six months. For women and individuals belonging to the SCST, the time frame stipulated was three months. They should have been kept under house arrest or kept away from their district for at least six months. If they had lost their government job, if they had been awarded the punishment of 10 or more strokes of caning, flogging or whipping. If they became permanently incapacitated during firing or lati charge. If they had their property confiscated or attached. While there were various mutinies, protests and demonstrations as a part of the freedom struggle, the Swatantrata Senik Samman Yojana has identified 40 key events, including the Khilafat movement, the Quit India Movement, Chauri Chaura Kand, Jallianwala Bagh Massacre as a part of their criteria. Though Mahatma Gandhi and Subhash Chandra Bose did not see eye to eye on the paths to freedom, fighters from the Indian National Army are also considered eligible if they were imprisoned outside India for more than six months. In 1980, those who participated in the merger of Hyderabad with India during the Hyderabad Liberation Movement of 1947-48 also became eligible and could avail the benefits. So what are the benefits that our freedom fighters receive? Apart from a fixed pension, which is more than rupees 30,000 every month, freedom fighters receive free railway passes for life, free medical facilities in all central government hospitals, 50% off on the rental telephone connections, and housing from the General Pool Residential Accommodation in Delhi. For those martyred in the quest for freedom, these benefits pass on to their dependents. India's independence was hard fought and wouldn't have been possible without the efforts and sacrifices of these freedom fighters. There were many freedom fighters whom we recognize, but there were many hundreds of thousands whom we don't. So here's wishing them and you all a very happy Independence Day.